Hello, MechWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Viper today. Some people wanted to see more super fast light mech action, and I mean, since the Viper is a medium, I think it's still pretty close to a light mech because it has a pretty big engine and it has amazing amounts of jump jets. Also, people wanted to see more flamer shenanigans, and today we are doing it. So, we are slapping four flamers and five heavy small lasers, as well as two ER micro lasers, on a Viper C because it has the center torso energy hardpoint, the others don't have that. And we are using the Medusa left and right arm because it has three energy hard points as well each. So that's pretty cool. We also have a um, little bit of heat management. We are running a light active probe so that we can target a bit better. And um, yeah, we have a better better detection boost as well as uh, having a longer sensor range. So we know what the enemies are running a bit better to actually assess whether we should go in or not. Because if you're running against a Gauss carrier, he doesn't care about the heat that you put on him. But if you're going for something like an energy boat or a PPC carrier, whatever, then... Sure, you might be overheating somebody and you might kill him as a result in a 1v1 scenario, even if it's an assault mech. So you got to really know when to engage and when not. Uh, it's best to go uh, into the flanks of the enemies or directly backstabbing them because that's when they are unaware this mech does not have any big armor points. Which means be very careful, don't overextend if you want to play it like that. And uh, yeah, use your flamers to initiate and then use the, the rest of the lasers on top of it. Our alpha strike is okay, it's 39 damage. And you need to make sure that you're not um, overheating your own mech with the flamers because at some point, if you're getting into the red zone, you will start racking up the heat like crazy. And therefore, you know, just do some hit and run. Don't be in the fights for too long. Just get in and get out again. Cool down, get your flamers ramped down and uh, engage from another angle. We also have laser duration. Not the flamer ventilation, by the way, because the flamers for me are just a secondary thing. I want it... Um, and also 15%. It is nice, but it's... Not that big of a deal, so therefore I'm not using flamer ventilation, by the way. But laser duration is good, cooldown is good, heat gen is good, and we are not using any survivability because mobility is our survivability. We need to kind of just stay out of the enemy's um, firing arc, and therefore getting heartbreak, kinetic burst, anchor turn, as well as speed tweak is really good. We have max out the cool run, we have 60% rated deprivation, two cool shots, double artillery strike, and that's it. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Caustic Valley and we are playing Domination. I think I'm going to go into the circle and then I want to circle around the enemies. Maybe we can snatch an Assault Maker or so. So, yeah, let's uh, check it out, guys. Let's check it out. And yes, you might call it NASCA or you might call it uh, getting a backstab on enemies because we are a backstabber. We are here to drink your beer, and so on. So, here we go. We have a Mad Cat Mark II with a lot of Ultra Auto Cannons. Mm, do we... Oh my god, that's everyone. Yeah, they're building a firing line in Delta 5. Delta 5 is hot. I'm gonna disengage from that. Not, not interested in any of this. Took a bit of damage there, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... What is going on here? Who the hell is shooting me? Oh, there was people... Okay, so I think it was people shooting UAVs and I was running through their path. They were completely focused on the sky and not on where I am. Got it. Kind of my bad then. So a thing that we can do is we can jump up high and take a nice artillery drop on them. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So let's go ahead and drop it like right there. Try to do a soft landing. And I hope it kind of does something. So let's see. This is kind of our early game that we are doing. Just... Ooh, shooting artillery on enemies' heads. Uh, we have some backstabbers coming in, guys. Be aware. UAV would be helpful. Echo 5. Two light max. Okay, let's try. They are people. Oh, please shoot, buddy. Please shoot. Please shoot. Please shoot. Please shoot. Please shoot. Please shoot. Yeah, come on. More of that. Oh, that's a lot of people. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay. Next up. Uh, rotating around. Man, I wanted him to overheat so bad. Uh, speaking of things that we can do. Jumping around. Trying to get artillery out, but it was already used. Man, I like the speed of that thing. It is so cool. It was used in a very good spot as well. So he is down, basically. I don't need to go for anything else. I want to bring my flamers in again. Come on, we are on a hot map, so we should use that. Uh-oh. Hello! Oh, boy. I hope they didn't see me. Yes, come on, baby. Let's get out of here again. My flamers are kind of hot right now. And we are two and two. So now my my arty strike... 
I wanted to say my Adi Strike is coming through. It's not. Got to disengage. They are actually turning around. So Flamers are ready again. They have devented. That's good. Some heat as well as some other shenanigans. Some damage there. I think I'm going to use my cool shot here. Mm, not enough. So artillery is coming down again. Kind of need to stay behind these enemies. Let's see. Born three. The fight has stopped a little bit. Man, I want that Phoenix Hawk. Okay, everybody is here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Phoenix. Gonna start shooting at him. Maybe we can take a side torso out. And that's a kill. Perfect. Another one. And he is one of the last guys. I don't wanna. Ooh. I don't wanna really uh, engage him head on here. Hey, stop it! That's me, guys! I'm your friend! Got him. So, 10 and 5! We have a piranha! Oh my god, yeah, come closer, please. Leg sweep, kill. And then there is a spider that we have seen earlier, and we also got the kill, just snatching it away. <laughs> Overheating myself! <laughs> I was like, the game is over after this kill, we're gonna go for it now. But no, in Domination it always takes a little until the timer is ticking again and the game will then finish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we dealt a good chunk of damage. We overheated some people. I died from overheating, which is quite iconic, but okay We got four killing blows seven assists one kill most damage dealt 543 damage done as well as ten components Destroyed man. I love that gameplay. That's pretty cool. That was the first round So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right second game of the day We are playing the Canyon Network We are playing skirmish and I, I want to traverse over to the center of the map quite quickly Because I believe it's a good place to be maybe Maybe, uh, maybe we can get some light mix here. Oh, man, 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 man. Is he really coming? He's really coming, actually. Let's wait for him to come. It's right here. Want to peek? I don't want to peek anymore. Okay, no, I'm exposed and they have pr probably spotted me in return. So, what can we do? What should we do? There are lots of PPCs flying and I have nothing that I can do against it and about it. We have a rifleman down in the trench who's getting shot. We have people there on the high ground as well. Um, some enemies are trying to backstep our guys. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to... Without cover alone? No. No, no, not gonna happen. Uh-uh. Yeah, here they come. Yes, yeah, a piranha. Ah, shit, they have the long range up there. Yeah, and the strike coming down as well. So we gotta run. They are flanking us hard there. They have a pretty big wolf pack. Let's see if I can support them a little bit at the very least. Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna stay on the flea. Okay. Okay, just driving them off, trying to deal some damage to them. Guys, you're not as, uh, as safe as you think you might be. But I'm also not really hitting anything. Uh, this is bad. They also have a vehicle. I gotta go. This vehicle is too strong. Way too strong. Man, I tried to buy some time for them. I hope it's enough. No, it's not. Okay, we are we are abandoning we are abandoning this post now. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go somewhere else where we actually matter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, people. But I want to get to the center because there's a lot of stuff happening and I want to see if I can help them out a bit. MRM 100 Stalker. That's mine. Good. So, yes, I just uh, snatched the kill. But that's what we are here for. That's exactly our battle plan. Got him. And now it's time to get away. Jumping, falling, hoping that I'm not getting hit. It's a 3-3 three three scenario. This guy's running uh, a rock. Okay, it's an Irby with a rock. There's a strike coming down, so we're gonna disengage from there. What's that guy? Summoner. Nah, nah, summoners are not good. Uh, let's get together, guys. It's important. And I wanna try to... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Irby that's kind of hiding there. I hope that the Mad Cat is not there anymore. Uh, that was bad. Okay. Three and four. I can try to get the backstabbers. What is that again? That happens so often lately. I'm uh, jumping up a ramp and then I'm keeping up the momentum. Hey, Irby. Just want to get you out of your spot and then I'm going to run. It's okay. I just want to harass him right now. This is all I can do. Because there's a Vapor Eagle covering him. 
I don't know where to go, honestly. Okay, let's uh, jump over here again. What's the vapor doing? Herbie is still here. Six and six. Still super dangerous. Light mech next to us. There was something going on. There's one thing I can do. That is uh, dropping an artillery strike right here. Taking a side torso. Oh, there you are. I knew I saw something. Okay, so he is getting away. And we're gonna get this guy. Cool. Eight and six. Looking strong. Alright, what are you doing there, mister? Oh, you're dead, basically. Good. So, now back to the life mech. Cool. I think we got him. Flamer kill? No, wow. These guys are getting all the kills here. So, in this game, I was... I was more a support than I... I was really dealing damage. I mean, we took a good chunk of damage. We distracted lots and lots of enemies. We kind of... Um, turned this ambush around in the early game. So, that was good. And then again, we kept some people busy here. That were uh, meant to be kept very busy. You are running XL? I don't know. Probably not. No, you are light mech. Light engine mech. Okay, we got that at the very least. Let's get out of here again. <laughs> this urban mech really doesn't like me. But yeah, again, we initiated the fight. The people are getting the kills in return. Is he going for me? That uh, The Vapor Eagle? Nope. Flamer! Got a bit of stuff here. Couldn't get any kills here. Oh, did we get one? Ah, yeah, we got one on the Stalker, but uh, that is that is it. I mean, it's okay. Our mech is done for. We are down at 18%, but you know what? Again, it is a thing that isn't measured by the end score here, but I have the feeling that our positioning and our, our plays here, they were so important to actually winning the game. We got one killing blow, eight assists. We got 409 damage done. Nonetheless, it's quite okay. So 347 taken with seven components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.